Welcome everyone, I'm K Plays Games and this is episode 21 of our EVE Online Let's Play series. In the previous episode we bought this fine looking Omen cruiser and we fitted it with longer range beam lasers with a view to running level 2 missions. We ran some level 2 missions, we barely took a scratch, we also barely made any money. So today I think we'll run some level 3 security missions. As you can probably tell from the fact that we're able to run level 3, I've been on the standings grind. I managed to find two level 2 distribution agents in the same station. So I ran multiple sets of missions for these two people. You see here, this is the long stretch of 16, and then a big kick from each storyline that I got. Now I managed to luck out completely without planning it at all. It just so happened that the nearest storyline agent was also a member of the Carthum Conglomerate NPC Corporation. So that meant that every single storyline, as well as giving a big kick to Amar Empire standings, as you can see here, it also gave us a huge kick to Carthum Conglomerate. It took about three or four strings of 16 missions for us to get just above three, which has now opened level three agents for this particular corporation. And during that time, I carried on with the skill training. And we've done motion prediction four, weapon upgrades four, advanced weapon upgrades two, I think. Yes, here we are. And that allowed me to purchase and fit Tech 2 heat sinks and Tech 2 tracking enhancers. So we've got more damage, faster rate of fire, more range, more tracking, so that's all good. So this ship should perform even better in level 3s. I have also theory crafted a battle cruiser fit, just in case we ever need it or something. It's essentially just a, a larger version of the Omen. There's more DPS out to longer range, roughly the same tank, it's got more hit points to chew through, and it's a little bit slower as well. So if we find level 3 missions too challenging, I can invest a few million and upgrade to a battle cruiser, and this may also allow us to run things like Sancha Watch. Sancha Vigil and the 4 out of 10 Sancha DED sites that we may find when we're scanning in the Malar. I don't think the Malar can handle these on its own, so this could come in handy. I have managed to earn enough money every day to keep buying skill injectors, so the training time is slowly coming down. I mean, this was 25 days, about two days ago, but Injecting 50,000 every single day is coming handy and we're still chipping away with the skilling spree and the daily login campaigns. But this will take 30 days to fill up to 50,000 so it's going to take a, a long while to get there. As I said, if we can keep making enough money, we can actually stop using the daily... Well, we'll carry on using the daily ones, but we'll also get a proper big skill injector and take a huge chunk of this training time off. But if I get bored waiting, I can always just refit the Omen for the Bissell sites and try very low level ones in the Omen. Well, let's see what level 3 missions are all about. Well, this is against Mimitar Republic, so we'll be declining that because we don't want to wreck our standings. As we know, we're going to have to go through Mimitar space quite often on the way up to Jita. Let's try the Bounty Hunter and his mercenary henchmen and report back. Okay, it's in that system, one away. Your level 3s pay out a little bit more. A few hundred loyalty points and a quarter of a million in cash. But we're at the stage now where the bounty and loot is going to give us much more money than the actual agent pay. I've also invested in some kinetic drones and I replaced, well I'm going to replace radio with microwave ammo because radio only does EM and things like mercenaries and gurista have really high resistances to that. They're kinetic and thermal 
So anything that does even a little bit of thermal will be good. And microwave does a little bit of thermal. You know, multi-frequency does the most thermal of any of the laser crystals. I'm speaking to you a couple of days after the big expansion to EVE. The 27 invaded triglavian systems have been removed from the map entirely. You can only get there through wormholes or by finding a special filament that lets you jump in. So there's all kinds of excitement about that. Just move a little bit. 22, he's probably within gamma range. Yes. And we'll launch our kinetic drones. If we look, they're weakest to kinetic. And we'll get the drones to go and attack him. Secondary weakness is thermal. Which is why gamma is quite good, because it's doing 198 thermal per hit. And we're chewing these guys up just fine. That guy next, please, guys. As mercenaries, these will all drop at least some kind of loot. I oh, wasn't expecting to be warp disrupted, but there we are. Very rare that a cruiser will warp disrupt you in a mission. It's usually elite frigates that do that. Difficulty in missions is just random. You'll find some level 3s really easy and others really quite challenging. No consistency at all on them. I will be salvaging all these missions just to see what the loot and salvage from level 3s is like. Don't forget that level 3s is the highest level mission we can do as an alpha player. So this is as good as it gets for mission running. I was attacked in a jar by a role playing protection money seeking player pirate. He didn't last very long because he attacked me in a 0.9 system and the police showed up after about 5 seconds and destroyed him. And I got about 6 million in tech 2 weapons and ammunition off his wreck so that came in handy. So I set that pilot and his entire corporation as low standings and set local chat to compact members list. You click here, members list settings, just show compact and it just takes all the icons off so you can see more names. So if any of them are in the same system, we'll see a little red box with a, a minus icon there. I haven't seen them since, that was three or four days ago for me. I think it was just an opportunistic thing. Hey. Go here, fighting Guristas. Again, our kinetic and thermal. Go here, pick up some militants, come back. Okay, accept that. If I think that player pirates are going to move into a jar and start demanding Menace's money, then we could probably just ignore them by changing the Malor fit a little bit and remove the compact signal amplifier and replace it with a 400mm, I think, armor plate. Which we put our effective hit points up from 9, 6 to 12, 11. I'm pretty sure if I get the guns down to the focus version, I can get an 800 millimeter plate, and that pushes us up over 14,000. And if you remember, 14,000 is round about the magic number that lets you survive a single volley from a tornado battle cruiser. Not that they're gonna risk 
trying to kill a 15 mil cruiser in a 60 million esque battle cruiser, but you never know. They are pirates or strange people, they do strange things. But there's always the option. And when he attacked us, we were just in the normal Malor fit, and he only took us to about three quarters armor, and that's when NPC was shooting at us as well. Okay, a few little guards on the gate. That's two level three missions done already in less than 20 minutes, which is nice. Again, our beautiful little Loman barely took a scratch. Haven't even got tank to armor repairer yet. I'll maybe run two more and then go and get the coercer. Okay. I know this mission it's a little bit nasty, and it can be if you can't get out. But we're fast enough, I think. Now this is a faction kill mission. But we're not actually going to kill anything. We're just going to go there, trigger the spawn, and then run away. Unless we get warp jammed, in which case we're going to be in for a rough ride. And a lot of standing damage. Which would not be good. Okay, so we know we've come from the station, which is up there. Approach this. Luckily for us, we're an omen and we do 685 meters a second. See, that, that mission is pretty nasty in a cruiser. And we didn't suffer any negative Galinti standings. And we got some money and loyalty points out of it. Okay, next one. Intercept the saboteurs. Go here. Thank you, Sancho. This is good. 
EM there, and we'll be doing maximum damage to these guys. And confiscating viral agent. Now she says that they may have a couple of interceptors. So this will be warp jamming. And that's why we're getting paid almost 600,775 loyalty points. And the paying the loyalty points can be a decent guide to the difficulty of the mission, but not always. And just two stragglers guarding the gate. So let's go down to um, multi frequency. Put out the EM drones and open fire. Okay, yeah, lots and lots of guys, but they're all spread out over a great distance. I think I'll do one more spy stash. Go here, kill some Gurustas, bring back the classified reports. 600,000 and almost a thousand loyalty points, so apparently this is quite difficult.
no reinforcements. There we go. Complete mission. All your missions are done. Over here. Look at the Punisher. You know it's how dirty this looks and it's all carbon streaked and greasy looking. Now when your graphic settings are set on high, your ships do actually get dirty over time, whether or not you undock them and use them. A nice touch, you can clean it in the fitting window. Skins icon and the clean ship button. There we are, lovely and shiny, just like new. All right, we are back in Pasha after a successful salvaging trip. Six and a half million in assorted loot and salvage. Valuable items, stuff worth selling. It's 4.8. Yeah, we'll just stick it all in the sale box. It's nothing worth keeping really. All the salvage, 1.2 mil, not great. It goes in the sale box. Some more laser ammo that goes down here and we've got a couple more drones out of the bargain as well not too bad just quickly check if anything else is worth keeping don't think we need any of that stuff so that will go into junk loot and we'll just reprocess it all What we could do is to buy some blueprints for ammunition and use all these melted down minerals to build ammo and then exchange it for faction ammo in the loyalty point store and then sell that so it's like a multiple stage process but that will squeeze a few extra esk out of our operations. Right, so that was a quick introduction to level 3 missions. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. Talk about it in the comments. Consider subscribing because I'll find something else cool for us to do. Very probably Abyssal Dead Space. I'm sick of waiting. So you'll want to subscribe for that. Until then, take good care of yourselves and I will see you soon.